Hi guys, Scott Flint here from Fitness Box. I'm here with uh, Renee. Uh, so this uh, 10 week, oh, sorry, 10, 10 week, 10 uh, minute workout is gonna be uh, an ab workout. Okay, so the first exercise we're gonna do is an alternate uh, leg lower. So Renee's gonna demo for us. So she's gonna be laying down on her back. She's then gonna bring her knees up to 90 degrees. And then from there, all she's gonna do is just lower one leg down and then back up. And what we're concentrating on doing is pulling that belly button down towards the ground. So we're basically flattening that back off onto the ground and keeping that tummy nice and tense. Now, don't go fast with this. I want it's time under tension, keep it nice and controlled and breathe. Um, and if you find that your, your back is starting to come off, off the ground and you're arching your back, then that's when I want you to stop. But if you can maintain it for, throughout all the reps, then that's awesome. But if you find that you get 10 reps in, and your back's starting to really arch and you get your sore back, that's, I want you to stop just before that, okay? Awesome work, Renee. So that's our first exercise. Second exercise is gonna be a renegade row, okay? So using two dumbbells, Renee's gonna go into a push-up position on the ground. She's gonna take nice wide feet, and then she's gonna, from here, brace through her tummy and then pull dumbbell up to her shoulder. And what we're concentrating on is keeping hips square. So I want the least amount of movement through the hips as possible, okay? So what I don't want her to do is really rounding through her, so just roll your hips as you come up. So I don't want loads of movement here. I want her nice and solid, okay? So the modification on that, so if you don't have dumbbells or it's too hard with a dumbbell, all we do is exactly the same position and then we just take hand to opposite shoulder, that's it. Same rules apply, we want hips nice and square, so the least amount of movement rolling through our hips, okay? Then from there, we're gonna go into a roll up, okay? So Renee's gonna be lying on her back with two dumbbells, so it could be the same weight, so we can go heavier or lighter, whatever you need. If you can't do it with a dumbbell, then do it with no weight. So legs are gonna be flat, arms are gonna be straight above the chest. Start that one again. So you're gonna be straight above the chest, so straight up. That's it, and then from there, she's gonna sit all the way up. That's it, up nice and tall, and then she's gonna scoop through her tummy and control that lowering phase, okay? So she's gonna sit up, good, all the way up, and then control that lowering phase, okay? Relax there, Renee. As I said, we can do it with no weight as well, so we don't have to use, use the weight. It's, it's a tough exercise just as it is. Um, or you can use one dumbbell, okay? So choose your weight wisely. Now, as far as the reps go, so I'm gonna get Ryan to come in. So rep-wise, First exercise, our alternate uh, leg lower. So you're gonna do 12 to 16 repetitions. All right, so you make that call as far as the reps. As I said, we're being conscious with the, the back. So you do 12 to 16 repetitions. You'll then go straight into your renegade row. Same again, 12 to 16 repetitions. And these are total reps. So not 12 each leg or anything like that. It's 12 in total. Um, then you'll then go straight into our, our roll up. So 10 to 12 repetitions on this one. You'll then give yourself a, a one minute rest and we do four sets of that, okay? So it's gonna take you roughly around 10 minutes, okay? It's not one I want you to get through as fast as possible. It's all about control, particularly these first, well, all three is all about control, but particularly these first two, it's about that time under tension, all right? So give it a go and um, yeah, feel the burn.